going to put this gate together. <clears throat> uh, it's four feet high, and you can build this gate up to uh, six feet wide. I'm only going to build it four feet wide. And uh, that's what it is. Come from Lowe's gate kit. I'll show you where I'm going to put it. Since we're going to keep this gate closed, uh, I'm going to put a walkthrough gate right here so we can get the lawnmower out and the trash cans and go get our mail without having to bring the uh, remote to open that gate. That's just to keep cars from driving down through here or else uh, our dogs will get run over. We're not letting them out uh, in this part of the yard yet till they get used to living here. But uh, that's the project. I'm gonna attach it to that, have it swing on that pole and I'm gonna put another pole right here and uh, it'll latch on that pole. So uh, getting the gate built is step one. Ah, here we go, this is the parts kit. And uh, I don't know what these are for. Let's just get rid of them right now. All right, let me uh, let me get to assembling. I'm um, I'm gonna have to cut some off of these to make this gate four foot, probably probably two foot. I'll have to measure. But uh, let me uh, let me go find out what to do with them. I gotta throw them away. Okay, so basically. You can go all the way up to six feet with this gate or, you know, whatever, whatever width you want. You can go 28 inches, but you've got to cut this, uh, these two pipes to bring the ends in. Sonic. And that's what I did. Now let me get the, uh, the fence in there. Well, this is just the most ridiculous, knotted, messed up bit of fence I've ever come across. And I'll tell you what. This box had been taped up. I guarantee you this was a return for this very reason. Uh, I've got to basically rebuild this chain link fence. I know how to do it because I've done it before. But uh, you shouldn't have to spend 70 bucks on a, on a fence gate and then have to do 70 bucks worth of work to get it to work. So I gotta spread this out on the floor and you've got some that are hooked wrong and some that need to be turned down into the fence more and some that need to be turned out up that away. Only way to do this is to hook one end onto something and work your way in. So let me do that. Uh, find something to heavy to sit on the end of this. Or uh, if I could hang it from a ceiling, that would work. I'll think of something. You see how this is one link lower than this. And it's pretty easy to do. You have to disconnect them here and uh, twist them like that. And uh, you gotta do that all the way down and you shouldn't have to. <laughs> Bang in the neck. All right, let me get busy. I'll show you the finished product. All right, I, I got it right for the most part. I, I got to get it up on there and attached, and uh, I can uh, squeeze these loops tight. This is what happened. All these loops come undone, and some of these come unwound. So I had some of them two or three links too far that way and this way, and, and probably half the fence had to be fixed. This is uh, really, really a piece of crap. And uh, if I had the receipt, I'd have taken this back. There's no way that somebody should have to do this amount of work to fix something that this should not happen to. But anyway, let me get back. Let me get this up on the tailgate and uh, get this stretched out. All right, what holds these side to side is these clips. They hook on like that. And uh, on this side, I'm having to unthread See the gap there. I'm having to unthread this. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. Piece of carp. All right, let me get this stretched out. Actually, may, I may have to take one more out. Let me get it stretched out and see. All right, I got it. That was a lot of work. 
It's tight. So now I got five ties to put on either end. And that's these things here. So, uh, and then I have uh, a tensioner that goes from corner to corner and uh, then put the hinges on. All right, now I gotta put the, uh, the tensioner that goes down here. It's just a cable with a, uh, crap, what do they call them? <laughs> Can't believe it. I'll think of it. Anyway, it's got a U-bolt and a couple of hooks and uh, I can't believe I don't, can't remember the name for that thing, huh? Right there. Jeez, right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, I gotta put that in. So I'll tell you, I wouldn't give this a don't buy, but I would give this a be prepared for a boatload of aggravation. Cause that chain getting that untangled was a, was a lot of work. That was uh, actually more work than putting this together. So let me get that tensioner in and uh, let me show you the name of this one more time. Fit right. Kit de Portal. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, adjustable gate. Fit right, adjustable gate. And, uh, eh, you could have bought a gate for 70 bucks. You know, the right size already made for just a couple dollars more. Was it worth uh, saving a few dollars for this aggravation? I don't think so. I wouldn't warn you against buying it, but like I said, it's it's been more aggravation than 70 bucks was worth. Turnbuckle, that's the word I couldn't think of. All right, it's done. Now I gotta get a pole and some cement and uh, I'll have a gate in a couple of days. I gotta let that cement set up, but uh, anyway, that's this project. I got the gate built. Next, I'm gonna sink that pole and when that concrete dries, I'll attach the fence to it and uh, then we'll have a gate.